C. A statically typed procedural programming language famous for making the world go round. It's the language behind many tools we take for granted, like the Windows, Linux, and Mac operating system kernels, databases like MySQL, interpreters for languages like Python, tools like Vim and Git, and countless others. It was created in 1972 by Dennis Ritchie at Bell Labs, where it would be used to develop the Unix operating system. It would go on to become the mother of all languages, inspiring the syntax of C++, C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, Perl, and PHP, just to name a few. It compiles directly to machine code and requires minimal runtime support, but is platform dependent, meaning the executable is designed to run on a specific operating system. It's a high-level language designed for humans, yet provides low-level control over memory and hardware. There's no garbage collector. Instead, your code needs to manage its own memory. When you create a variable, it's assigned an address in memory. You can store that address in another variable called a pointer. When the variable is no longer needed, you'll need to free it to avoid memory leaks. To get started, install a C compiler. A popular choice is the GNU C compiler or GCC. Create a file ending in .c, include any libraries you plan to use, then add a main function to it. This is where your program will start executing. There's no function keyword, and notice how it returns an integer type. A return value of 0 means success, while a return value of 1 means failure. There are only a few basic types in C. Create a variable by starting with a type, followed by a name and value. Use printf to print the value to the standard output, or put an ampersand in front of it to reference its address in memory. There's no string type, but instead char, which represents a one-byte character stored as an integer. A string can be created with an array of characters. Each letter will have its own memory address and be terminated by a null character. Another approach is to start with a pointer by adding a star character in front of the type. Then we can allocate four bytes to it. Now assign a character to each index, ending with the null character to create a string. When you no longer need that memory allocated to your program, use free to release it back to the computer's RAM. The language is procedural and does not support object-oriented features, although you can create your own complex data types using structs. Now compile your code to machine instructions for your operating system using the C compiler. This has been the C programming language in 100 seconds. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.